worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello! Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio. We are sent by God to bring you the word of heaven. The heavenly controls the earthly. The spiritual controls the physical. So this is coming from the spiritual, from the throne room of heaven. Anointing and impartation revelation to be a blessing to your life. So you create a revolution wherever you are. Listen to it every day on this radio station at this time. And don't let it just be yourself alone. Extend it to your family members, your friends, and your neighbors. Ask them to tune in to this radio station at this time every day. Let what is blessing you also bless everyone connected to you. We start with confessing God's words to our lives. We call it faith confession. Do that confession. It's a spiritual key that opens the life. Do it with all your heart. If you can be as loud as we are here, be that loud. If you cannot, still be loud enough, depending on your situation and your circumstances there. Never close your mouth, never close your heart, never give up on your things. A closed mouth and a closed heart will lead to a closed destiny. Take this confession with us. Say with me, my Father and my God. I am here again before you today. To give you praise, to give you, praise. To give you adoration, to, give you adoration. To, thank you to thank you for all you have done. I'm also here today also here. to pour out my heart, out my heart. On, all on all issues around me, to present my family, to, to represent my family, to present, to present myself to present. for a sweeter anointing sweeter. by your power today. Let there be a new anointing, a new flow of grace, of power, of increase on my life and my family. I confess I belong to you, so I am yours. I confess I am higher than my issues. By the encounter of today, you will take me higher in possession, in occupation, Nothing will bring me down as I present my children, my family, immediate family, extended family, father's side, mother's side. Let there be a new intervention in all areas of our life. I will return to this mountain and give you the glory. I confess it, I believe it, and so I receive it in Jesus' name. Wow, you will not just be making confession. You will be seeing the manifestations of God's wonders. After faith confession, then we come to the word encounter. Expect the word dimension. Do your jottings. Take notes. Go over the notes after. Then ask God for grace to apply the truth we daily share here to your word and to your work and to your life. It is when you apply the word of God that you see the wonders in it. God's word that we receive and apply is what brings the transformation and the renewal. Then the miraculous will follow. All of us need God's miracle, healing miracles, conception miracles, giving back to babies in hopes that desire them. Miracle cars, miracle vehicles, miracle dream houses, miracles wedding. We all need miracle, miracle, miracle visa traveling abroad and miracle enlargement and expansion, whatever it is and uh, victories over the enemies, miracles, and so many things. Everybody wants it. It is good. But all these miracles, or I call them God's provisions, are cheap. When you know God's word and you believe in it, and you correctly apply the word to every aspect of your life. Besides, it is God's word that sustains miracles, that makes miracles last, and you can, it can be replicated as many times as you desire. Let's balance the truth. We preach the balanced message here. Balanced truth. Miracles, yes. We serve the God of miracle. But knowing God's word and living by the truth of his word first, 
that's number one. And God's word will now cover all areas of life. The word of God, cover all areas of human life are covered by the word of God. We take them one after the other on this broadcast. Follow us daily. We have been on the topic, knowing God and hearing his voice. God has a voice. God speaks to his own. In life, they don't just go by anything. Jesus Christ said, my sheep knows my voice. A stranger, they will not follow. Please don't go by guessing. Don't do guesswork. Don't do gambling. No, don't live your life that way. It will lead into a mirage. Uh, don't make decisions by what somebody else says or what somebody else says God told them to tell you. No, don't be blind and be deaf to God. Hear him yourself directly. You can hear God and you will not be misdirected or make mistakes. Very many lives, many lives have become a tragedy because they just make mistakes in getting married, wrong married to a wrong person, mistake in embarking on a wrong journey, mistake in wrong investment, mistake in wrong association, mistake, mistake, mistake. We just take life out of a person. How can someone hear God? That is what we've been talking about. Number one, which I have discussed previously, but let me say it again: give your heart to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior into your heart. It is at salvation that God's Holy Spirit makes a supernatural entry into a person's life and a person's heart to make him conscious of God. No one has the Spirit of God in him or her until the experience of recreation, experience of regeneration, or experience of new birth. John chapter 3. Verse 3 says, except a man or a woman be born again, he or she cannot see the kingdom of God. Also, that includes he cannot even hear from God. He can't connect with God. John chapter 4, verse 24 says, God is spirit, and they that worship him or they that will relate with him must do so in spirit and in truth at the natural birth. A person that came to this world with the human spirit, that's our soul. You know, I told you, man is a tripartite being. We are essentially a spirit. We have a soul. And both the spirit and the soul dwell in our mortal body. But that spirit is the human spirit. It, it, it cannot connect to God. It came and is like dormant. It's like when a patient is in coma, uh, alive on the bed, blinking and breathing, but totally oblivious unconscious of what is happening around him or her unaware until the day he regains consciousness and then many of them wake up from coma and say where am i why am i here now that means you have to come out of coma the spirit of man inside man until the holy ghost enters a person that spirit is in coma he is not conscious of god it will be like a dream same way when the holy spirit comes into the human spirit he gives life. It makes us become God's conscious. We start reliving from that point. That is what is called salvation. It's not that we just went for the white man's religion. Why did you dump our own traditional life? No, no, this is reality. John chapter 1 verse 12 says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons and daughters of God. To them gave he power to be conscious of God. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 says, And you has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Hmm. Did you hear that? He quickened us. He woke us up. The human spirit by the Holy Spirit now came alive and became conscious of God. We suddenly became conscious of him. We can now relate to him. The word of God now makes meaning. And indeed, real lives begin from the point of being born again. Now, being conscious of God, the Holy Spirit that now resides inside of us uh, begin to let us understand and hear the voice of God. Hearing the voice of God begins from giving one's life to Christ and the Spirit of God, as I've explained, makes entry into our spirit 
to give us the consciousness of God, then hearing God start from that. I will speak more on this from tomorrow. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 says, The Spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. The man, that is it, the, the Holy Spirit begin to speak to us inside our heart and that is inaudible voice. That's where hearing God starts from. You begin to hear God speak to your spirit. Ah, a major thing begins to happen. We are going to do these things more and more. From tomorrow, we will build on it. You need to hear God yourself. But it begins from giving your heart to Christ and then the Spirit of God coming into your spirit. There's a spirit in man. There's a spirit in you. And when that the Spirit of God comes into you from the point of view, opening up for God and say, Jesus, come into my life, it now gives life to the inner spirit that is able to communicate with God who himself is the spirit. And then you begin to hear him. He begins to direct you talk to you, lead you, guide you, teach you, reveal things to you. That is where real living starts. That is what it means to be regenerated. That is what it means to be a child of God. When we say we are children of God, some people say, I can be a man, a human being called himself a child of God. It is God that called us his children. It is God that brings his spirit into our spirit and gives us life. Come and receive this life. It's difficult to explain. Somebody said it is better are felt than felt. There's a limit to which anybody can explain it to you. It's a mystery. When the Spirit of God gains entry or entrance into the spirit of man and gives man life to be able to relate with God, be conscious of God, understand God's word, and hear God. Pull your ears and let me speak to you. Because we are talking about how we can hear God directly and you don't need an intermediary, you don't need a consultant, you don't need to pay somebody's money to help you interpret dream, to help you know God, to help you know what to do, whether to marry this man or not this man, whether to travel or not, whether to invest in this or not, whether to buy your house, whether to rent, who to relate with. No, no, no. Let God that made you that have the blueprint of your life lead you. He comes inside you in form of the Holy Spirit to your spirit and begin to lead you. Pull your ears. I prophesy, you will hear God directly. As many as have given their life to Christ, you begin to hear him clearly. As many as have not done so, receive grace to do so, so that God himself will begin to lead you and teach you and guide you and make you fulfill destiny. Say amen and amen. God bless you. We'll build more on this tomorrow. Next to God's word is testimony. Listen to these testimonies. Good morning, church. Good morning. My name is Pascal Anoma. My life suddenly was kind of uh, locked. I don't know what was happening to my life. Mm. And then uh, I went to one uh, uh, theology school. In that theology school, we are taught a lot but it was as if nothing is happening. Mm. It's as if I don't know what I'm doing. And then one day I just say, God, what is this? <laughs> Lead me mm. to that place mm. that you have prepared for me. Mm. Because I don't know what is happening to me. A lot of things, no, yes, no, no, no rest of mine, no peace of mine. Every company that I work with, I work with three or four companies. All of them closed down. They are, they, you know, as all these things were happening to me, I say no. That the best thing is. So what I'm trying to say, what, uh, my testimony is that yes, God led me mm. for me to be able to hear the voice that I'm hearing now, mm -hmm. the voice of a prophet. An and then, since then, I've been listening to that program, especially five o'clock in the morning, very early, uh, echo, uh, this thing, yes. So I, I've been listening to it. The last time I was, uh, 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 you know, the never took light, exactly five o'clock. So, <laughs> so, yes, what, why I'm testifying yes. is that I found myself here. No, yes. glad you're here. This is the first time I'm here. That I've never been here before. Wow. Why I why I'm I'm testifying just I am where God has sent me to be. Amen. And I, Everything you have lost will come back. Mr. Timothy, 
I blessed the day I joined this commission. Amen. Because it's one of sisters that sent this audio message to me. But the day I opened it, God has started the good things in my life. Before, if I do any work, people will return it in a week later that the thing is already spoiled. Mm. So I will start paying debt. Yeah. Anytime I gather money to go and give my parents, problem will start. But since I've joined this commission, mm. I've this sort, yeah. anointing oil, yes. to, yes. so everything is starting. Hallelujah. I need to now start gathering money to do something by myself. You do something great. Build your house, buy your car. Are you married yet? Get ready for that. <laughs> by the grace of God, what you were doing before that are failing, they will no longer fail. My name is Chidi Mahana, so that was um, um, about one week ago. Daddy said that we should move down to our door and hold the door. And whatever that you want, just believe. So I moved in, I just hold the door. And there is this particular thing that I'll be asking God. My younger sister moved to Dubai. For a good one year, there was no job. And I told God, with this door that I'm going to open today, mm. I'm going to share a testimony. Mm. And after that, the next two days, my younger one called me. In fact, she was chatting. He said, uh -uh, Ma, do you know? I said, what? He said, a company that I did not know. They just called me. In fact, they have given me my letter of appointment. Yes. They have done a two-year visa to. for me. That she's resuming work. She just resumed the work um two days ago. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. And again, my elder sister in the office, there is this girl that has been troubling her. I said, just like mommy said, say, give me the name. Mm -hmm. I took the name and I knew down. I said, God, you are God that fights all battles. Mm. Nobody will take your place mm. in our life. Mm. And before you know it, I told her to walk to the girl and tell her that you better you repent and start doing good to other people. So mm. like this now, the girl has been executed from the job. Mm. And my sister is still there. I just Hallelujah. want to give God glory. No. My name is Olubumi Omolade. Last year was so challenging, but I kept on praying hmm. and listening to Daddy Femi Emmanuel. Towards the end of last year, the Lord settled our U.S. immigrants. Hmm. For so many years, we've been waiting for this. And just last year, we received a letter that told us to commence the processing but what was take what was supposed to take three months at most four months was taking ten months and mm -hmm. we were like we didn't even know where we were heading to but to the glory of God mm -hmm. the Lord crowned the last year yes. with our UN he made this and um, last day Christmas hmm. the Christmas I will never forget for wow. the rest of my life thank you Jesus hallelujah whatever you are also believing God for is delivered to you now my name is Semitokpe Oyelude. I want to give God all the glory. The second to the last um, anointing service last year, which was the abundance, anointing for abundant harvest. I went again and told the still your word to perform it, Lord, because I will surely come to testify. Mm. And when it was around 625, mm. God started. <laughs> and last week, Thursday, there was, in fact, all through um, last year, since I joined um, this um, commission, I want to thank God because I was believing God for my husband to, to join me here. Mm. Most of the time, I was send the messages, it's just there. They'll be telling me, ah, he hears a lot of people. Uh, he this from Emmanuel and other, but I say, Lord, I want you to mm. touch him too. Mm. Be listening to it. To the glory of God, I salted my mouth and I knew it was a mm -hmm. public holiday. Mm -hmm. So I went to meet him. I said, Timmy, please, I want you to join me to Goshen Land today. Good wife. He said, I want to sleep. So I don't know. The Holy Spirit led me to leave him. I arranged the children and all that. In less than 10 minutes, this man was waiting outside in the car for <laughs> us. I want to give God all the glory. In fact, since that day, he will just separate himself to go and hear the WhatsApp message every day. I want to give God all wow. the glory. glory. Hallelujah. Wow. You will not just be listening to other people's testimonies. God's heaven will open for you. You will be uh, having your own testimony also. Now, we are now receiving voice note testimony on WhatsApp. Don't keep your testimonies to yourself. Don't keep what God has done in your life, the healings, the deliverances, the connection, the financial blessing, the lifting, the promotion, the turnaround, the safety, whatever God has done for you, as you listen to us on our various platform, my daily ministration that comes to your phone by 12 midnight, this 
a radio ministration, the Thursday prayer mountain services, two services at Dominion City, the Sunday services, and all the other platforms. Tell the changes you have seen. When you do so, you commit God to do more. Until you tell what God has already done, you are stopping from doing a new one. And when you give your testimony, the enemy is not able to steal your miracle again. And it is easy. Take your phone to where there will be no background noise. Open your WhatsApp and record your testimony. Just one minute or thereabout. Don't let it be long at all. One minute or a few seconds so that we can receive more. Let it be loud and clear. And then speak with excitement in your voice. Speak as if you are speaking to a thousand people before you. That is when it will be loud enough. Put your phone close to your mouth and let there be excitement in your voice. After recording, send to our number 80 555 83777 080 Do so now. Is today your bad day? Let me pray for you. Put your hand on your body. I bless your bad day. I bless the womb you came from. You will live long. You will live well. You will fulfill purpose. Your life will not be cut short. Say amen. I receive it. Then join us on live broadcast every Monday and Friday. Mondays and Fridays, Femi Manuel is live on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., one hour before you go to bed. And it is also through the real Femi Emmanuel. Search for it, and you will be there with us. Write it down and pin it to the back door of your room or next to your bed. You remember, every Monday and Friday, I will join Pastor Femi Emmanuel on live broadcast on all the social media platforms. And then, have you joined us on our social media platforms to be receiving my early money blessing? Early morning, we will send it to reach your phone by 12 midnight. So whenever you wake up, open your phone and tap on your WhatsApp or your Telegram, you will hear this voice for 12 minutes prophesying abundance, prophesying divine backing, prophesying victory and power and divine direction, destiny help us. I mean, victory, sales, customers, clients, help, mysteries into your life. It will change you completely if you are consistent about it. And it is easy. On your social media platform, search for the real family Emmanuel. The word real is R-E-A-L, R-E-A-L. Search for the Real Femi Emmanuel on Facebook, like and follow. Real Femi Emmanuel on Instagram, follow. Real Femi Emmanuel on TikTok, follow and like. Real Femi Emmanuel on YouTube, subscribe and turn on notification. All on YouTube, do that now. If you are on YouTube and you are hearing me, go to your YouTube, search for the Real Femi Emmanuel, subscribe and turn on notification. Anytime we are on, you will be notified it will bless your life completely so. You will be totally different. You become like what you hear. You become like the anointing you are connected to. Hey, you will become so great, so too hard to handle. I mean, you will be so transformed. Do so now. And then, all my listeners in and around the Badon, today is the D-Day. Today is the Prayer Mountain Day at Dominion City. Dominion City is at Aduloju bus stop along the whole road, or Joy Express Road, Ibadan. All roads lead to Dominion City today. If you are listening to this at 6 a.m. belt, 7.30 a.m. belt, 8.30 a.m. belt, you are free to, you are good to come. First service is 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Early morning, two hours. No traffic on the road. You see, have your full day to yourself. Come to that one. Bring your things for me to anoint for you. Second service is 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Another two hours. If you have your vehicles, your car, come. Ample car park, serene and protected. Come in commercial vehicles. Don't say Dominion City is far. Where God has placed your blessing must never be far. And then we position coastal buses at Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibadan, and Poplar Petrol Station in Warroad to bring people to and fro in the two services 
you only pay a token. Be there today. We'll give you anointed mantle for praying and doing miracle free. All these testimonies you daily listen to, they are coming from prayer mountain. Bring baby things, bring wedding things, bring your international passport, bring items from your shop, from your offices, from your factory. Students, bring your matric number. Bring things you will use to represent the power you want God to move for you. Bring the photographs of your loved sick one. God will heal them. Wedding is you. Whatever is that issue in your life, come. And today's prayer is powerful. Operating in surplus. No more scarcity, despite the challenge of economic scarcity, inflation. You, you will be living as if you are not in Nigeria. Everything will change because your supply is from heaven. He said, my God shall supply all your needs according to riches in glory. Not according to who is in Azorok, not according to which party is in power, not according to anything around you. Directly by the power of God, things will just change around for good. Oh, it will be great on prayer mountain today. All resident of the Nidiri Estate, Olong Tedo Estate, Samba Murayo Hotel, Jack area, Adulotu Community, Iyanobodija, Ori of First Street, Alagbayo Quarters, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajore for Kajola, Ajao Community, Agbo Express, Barika Water, Bashorun, Ojo, Orogun, Ashi, Bodija, General Gas, Akopo area, Akalawe, University of Ibadan. All of you, you are close to Dominion City. Be here today in any of the two services. It will turn your life round. What is left now is a prophetic impartation to close the service today. Receive it. From now on, every one of you, wherever you are connected to this voice, operate in more than enough. More than enough money. More than enough contracts. More than enough sales. More than enough anointing. More than enough membership. More than enough customers. More than enough clients. More than enough payments. More than enough power. More than enough peace. More than enough health. More than enough strength. From today, no more shortages. He said, the whole money on the internet trading wiped off. Then I started paying my tithe. And now things have turned around. I prophesy, things will turn around for you. Everyone that had experienced losses before, I pronounce restoration. For your children, wherever they are in the whole world. Everywhere your children may be in the whole world. You are standing in the gap for them. This anointing will be working for them. There will be nobody called poor here anymore. There will be nobody called barren here anymore. He said the smallest of us will be doing great things. In your family, in your community, in your city, back to your village. They will know you for good. Everybody put mantle on your head. God said, I should decree and cancel death sentences. Whatever arrow of death is being sent to anyone or all your children, everyone connected to you all over the world, those death sentences are canceled. He said, A thousand shall fall by your side. 10,000 at your right side. He said, no evil shall come near your dwelling. I pronounce on every one of you, no kidnapper, no bandits, no ritualist, no arm robber, no lassa fever. Every evil happening to people, no one will come near you. Wow, you will not just be hearing these things, they will become the realities of your life. Femi Manuel is my name. I love you. Have a great day.